everybody it's three minutes past four here in brisbane on friday the second of june and i have found another opponent with the yen crosses this time it's swissy yen so let's take a look and start at the monthly chart and on the monthly we can see beautiful uptrend clear series of higher highs and higher lows we are overextended still even though for the month of may we tried to pull back we ended up with an indecision candle so a little point of cautious is this overextension now drilling down into the weekly and we can see the weekly again beautiful uptrend and we're not too far from the averages so we managed to release some of this strong buying pressure now i'm interested in this level the area between the blue line and the green line so let's take a look what they mean and also what am i looking for so on the daily chart and this is important so we've got a nice uptrend and then we had a bit of consolidation here underneath this blue line and as we can see attach put lower another touch went to a lower low came back fast touched it again consolidated and broke higher now there's a couple of touches on the blue line but there's also this high here on the green line so i'm looking at areas in between i would love another test of the blue line though now for yesterday we actually have a bearish rejection candle that basically tested that green line and we can see that the high of that candle is also the previous ultimate high so another point of importance now if we'll take a look into the one hour then what we can see in the price action is that we did have a downtrend here and then from the low we pushed to a slightly higher high went lower to a lower low and now we're trying to climb higher so what i'm looking for is any signs that the buyers are actually going to take control from here we had a test of the green line but remember there's also that blue line which more buyers were sitting that was the point where the sellers pushed to a lower low so my preferred scenario would actually be a pullback toward that area but if that doesn't happen and the market starts to show buying strength then i'll be looking at this purple line as a potential area to look for reasons to start my offense i want to see signs that buyers are coming back into this market that they're picking momentum and they're going to take over all the sellers that were sitting here and push the price higher as for knockout i'll be looking at the area underneath this 155 in and around the 154 90 85 area simply because this was the area just before the rollover happened so just when the pullback started you can see last place that the buyers had some sort of energy to push the price higher so if we go on lower time frame it's that area around here so i want to be out before that happy knockouts everyone and have a wonderful weekend